Hey everyone, in today's Wrath of Math lesson, we'll be proving this pretty straightforward characterization of cut vertices. A vertex, V, of a connected graph, G, is a cut vertex if and only if there exist two vertices, U and W, that are distinct from that cut vertex, V, such that V lies on every UW path in G. This should seem like a pretty intuitive characterization of cut vertices because a vertex is only going to be a cut vertex. So say we've got this vertex V. It's only going to be a cut vertex if there are two other vertices, we could call U and W, such that the only way to get from U to W is to go through V. The only way to get from U to W is to, at some point, pass through V. These are just supposed to represent paths, not edges. So, so what would happen in this situation is once we delete V from the graph, there will no longer be a way to get from U to W. So those vertices will be disconnected, thus the resulting graph will be disconnected, thus by definition V is a cut vertex. So hopefully it doesn't seem too surprising, but it doesn't matter if you don't believe it because you will have to believe it in just a few minutes once we're done this proof. Man, look how nasty this board is. I think it's... <laughs> The eraser is really nasty too. It's almost like the eraser is a, a weird type of marker on its own. Try to not use that too much more this lesson. <laughs> All right, so let's just get into the proof. Um, the first direction we will prove, because this is an if and only if statement, so we got to prove two directions. First, we'll assume that V is a cut vertex of a connected graph G. And then we're going to want to show that by definition of cut vertex, there must exist two vertices U and W distinct from V such that V lies on every UW path in G. So let's start. We're going to of course assume our graph G is connected and let this vertex V be a cut vertex of G. V is a cut vertex of G. Thus, by definition of cut vertex, of course, if we delete V, look at G minus V, G minus V is disconnected, which I will abbreviate like that. So V is a cut vertex of our connected graph G, therefore by definition G minus V is disconnected. A disconnected graph has at least two components. So then we're going to show that there exist two vertices U and W such that V lies on every UW path in G by taking a vertex from, or taking two vertices from distinct components in this disconnected graph G minus V. So let me change colors here just so this doesn't, uh, the blue doesn't get too repetitive. We're going to take two vertices from distinct components of G minus V. So we'll say let U and W be vertices from distinct components of G minus V. Now, of course, U and W are also vertices of G. So if we can show that V lies on every UW path in G, then we'll be done with this first direction of the proof. And it's pretty straightforward. Since U and W are from distinct components of this disconnected graph G minus V, we know that there does not, there does not exist a U, W path, a path connecting U and W, there does not exist such a path in G minus V. However, the important thing to note, and again I'll switch colors, is that of course these vertices are in G, right? And G is connected. Thus, there does exist, there does exist a U, W path in G, since G is a connected graph. There's a big space between the, the A and the TH. Let me just bring the TH a little bit closer so that doesn't look so weird. So we took these two vertices, U and W, from distinct components of G minus V. Thus, there doesn't exist a UW path in G minus V. Otherwise, they would be in the same component. Then, since G is a connected graph, there does exist a UW path in G. Thus, it must be the case that all of those UW paths 
contained the vertex V. If that was not the case, then one of those paths would still exist in G minus V, and thus U and W couldn't be from distinct components. So let me just write that conclusion down and then I'll explain it one more time. So we took these two distinct, or these two vertices U and W from distinct components of G minus V. We of course know that neither of them is equal to V because they exist in the graph G minus V. Since they're from distinct components, there cannot exist a UW path in G minus V, but there were, or there was at least one UW path in G, since G is a connected graph. Hence, V, that vertex we deleted, the cut vertex, must lie on every UW path in G. If it did not, then one of those UW paths that didn't contain V would exist in uh, G minus V. And so U and W couldn't possibly be from distinct components because they would be connected in G minus V. So that's the first direction of the proof. We assumed that V was a cut vertex and showed that there must exist two distinct vertices or two vertices distinct from V, U and W, such that V lies on every UW path in the graph G. Now the other direction of the proof, pretty straightforward as well. Let me pick up the blue again. So we'll assume that, there, that we've got this vertex V in a connected graph and there exist two vertices U and W distinct from V such that V lies on every UW path in G. Then we just want to show that V must be a cut vertex of G, which is pretty easy. So I'll write out our assumptions and then we'll jump into this next direction. So we're assuming that we've got this vertex V from the, the vertex set of the connected graph G. And then we're also assuming that there exist two vertices U and W in G that are both distinct from V. So neither of them are equal to V. And then we're assuming that V lies on every UW path in G. And we want to show that V must be a cut vertex of G. In other words, we want to show that G minus V is disconnected, which is super easy to do. And just to, to make this direction of the proof stand out, I'm writing it in purple. So the other direction is over here. This other direction, uh, or this, this new direction is in purple. So let's consider the graph G minus V. What must be the case in G minus V? Well, certainly we'll, uh, we'll say in G minus V, in G minus V, there does not exist any U, W path. Why is that? Well, pretty clear. We already assumed that every U, W path in G contains V. So none of those paths exist anymore in the graph G minus V, where we have deleted V and its incident edges. So there doesn't exist any U, W path in G minus V. Therefore, by definition, since not every two vertices in G minus V are connected by a path, that means by definition, G minus V is disconnected. So G minus V is disconnected and thus, or therefore, I'll use the three dots, the shorthand for therefore, by definition, V is a cut vertex of G. V is a cut vertex of the graph G. And that concludes the proof. So we just, this other direction of the proof we just did was we said, suppose we've got a vertex in our connected graph G and suppose that there exists two distinct vertices, vertices distinct from V, such that V lies on every UW path in G. Then we use that information to show, almost just choked, to show that V must be a cut vertex of G. We show that deleting V disconnects the graph. And so that's the proof. And that is our characterization of cut vertices. A vertex V of a connected graph G is a cut vertex if and only if there exist two vertices U and W distinct from V, such that V lies on every UW path in G. Hope this video helped you understand the proof of this fun little cut vertex theorem. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. 
and uh, be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet.